Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of utilities, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to write the data into the Excel files. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of the previous session where I covered already how to read the data from the Excel files. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to write the data into the Excel files using the Python programs, okay? Already in the previous session, we have installed this open PyExcel, which will be useful for us for writing the data into the Excel file. We don't have to install that again, okay? Already in the project, this package has been installed. Now we just have to write the code for writing the data into the Excel files, okay? So here is the way we have to write the data into the Excel files, okay? Dot value is for data we have to mention, that's it. So I'll switch to this PyCharm ID for the practical demonstration where already we have written this code for reading the data from this particular Excel file. Now from the same Excel file, I'm going to write the data into it, okay? Into the same Excel file, I would like to write the data. Before writing any data, let me show you how the Excel file looks like uh, before writing the data, how the, what, what amount of data is already there. Let me show you that. Open in Explorer. I'll open this Excel file. In the Excel file, here we have this sheet login test in that we have like four rows and two columns having this data, right? In the first row, we have this uh, column list like username, password and uh, remaining uh, uh, three rows, we have the data, okay? So what I want to do now is here, I would like to add it one more column, uh, let's say experience or uh, for, for login, what can be added? Username, password, some role, let's say add, add some column name like role here, which is not there, but uh, by writing this code in Python, Python and using that uh, path library of this, uh, the previous thing that is open by Excel. Okay, the reading, uh, using the library of this open by Excel and Python, we are going to write the data into the same Excel file. Here, I would like to create a column, new column by writing the data, okay? And after that, I'll show you how to write the data into different rows and all, okay? So, let me close this and uh, let's keep these two lines because uh, we have to get the workbook. Okay, that is the entire workbook and uh, we have to get that particular sheet in which we want to write the data or some data into. We can remove this code. Simply what I want to show here is uh, I would like to add that third column. Okay, in the first row, I would like to add a third, only two columns were there in that Excel sheet, right? Username, password. I would like to add one more column with the name role. How to add that? For that, I'll write down sheet dot sheet dot Okay, cell, I have to give the row number that is one. The first row itself, we have the columns, right? One, and the column number I'm giving as three. Already two columns are there. In the first column, we have username. In the second column, we have the password. And in third column, I would like to add row. So to add that value, we have to say dot value is equal to, in the double quotes, give the name of the column that you want to add, that is row. That's it. Here, it's optional that you can add row is equal to one, column is equal to three, this is optional. Whether you want to put it or not, doesn't matter whether you put or you don't specify also, it is going to work, okay? This uh, call uh, attribute names are optional because it will take the number, first number as in the first argument in the cell as a row and a second number in the cell as in the cell command as column. Anyhow, let me run this, but this is not going to work, okay? Simply uh, assigning a value to this particular column cell doesn't work. It is not going to add this column role into the Excel sheet because after doing this, at the end, you have to say, at the end, you have to say workbook dot save. If you don't save the workbook, this particular thing will not be happening. This data will not be added into the Excel file. Okay. So save off, you have to give the path where this Excel file is available. That is a uh, Excel files folder under that we have this uh, tutorials ninja dot xlsx. Now run this code. That's it. Now right click on this Excel file, say open in Explorer, open this Excel file. Now you'll see the third column created that is role column. This is how we can add the data into the Excel file. Now let me add more data into this Excel file. Let's say from this fifth row to 10th row, here from here to here, from three columns, all the selected area I would like to add my name, okay? I would like to add my name, Arun, 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 everywhere Arun, into this, all the cells that I selected here. Let me close that. Let me write the code for that. So what I will do here is, uh, 
I'll write a for loop for R in range of starting from fifth row. Okay, starting from fifth row to the tenth row. So here I have to give eleven because it will uh, for loop will take eleven minus one ten. So fifth row to the tenth row. So I have to give eleven for C in range of three columns are there. Start, starting with the first column, total three columns are there. Here I have to give four because four minus one will be three for for loop. It will consider from one to four minus one. That is one to three. Now after that you have to write here. Just copy this part, cut this part, and paste it here. Sheet dot cell off here in place of row is equal to one. You give row is equal to R. In column is equal to three, you give column is equal to C. This C, and uh, add this uh, my name. Let's say Arun. I would like to enter my name into all these uh, row sign columns from the fifth row to the tenth row. And at the end, you have to save the workbook. Okay, as it is, you have to save the workbook at the end. Let me remove unnecessary spaces and all, and just add this line at the end. Without saving this workbook, this data will not be saved into this Excel file. Will not be written into the Excel file. Now run this code. You'll see that Arun will be written into uh, starting from fifth row to the tenth row for all the three columns. Arun name will be written. Run this. Done. Now right click, open in Explorer, open this Excel file. In the Excel file, you can see. You see, my name got printed. From fifth row to the tenth row for all three columns. This is what I mentioned. This is how we can write the data into the Excel files. Okay, so hope you got the knowledge. This knowledge we can use uh, during real time Selenium Python automation, where uh, if you want to write something, some result back into the Excel files, then you can follow this logic. Okay, here we are just gaining the knowledge of writing the data into the Excel files. How to utilize this reading data from Excel files and writing data into back into the Excel files during real-time Selenium Python automation that I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions during the framework series and all. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.